Our boathouse has witnessed many racial injustices across the nation in the past couple of weeks that have been highlighted by the media. But we're also very well aware that many of these injustices have been going on since the founding of the United States. We've taken this time to organize an athlete-led fundraiser across all three teams in the boathouse that's going towards the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. In addition to doing a workout challenge-based fundraiser, we've also taken this time to reflect on what we can do and should be doing to fight against racial injustice across the United States. Call out instances of racism when they happen, even if it's uncomfortable. I'm trying to fight racism by thinking about biases that I might not even know I have and talking to family members and loved ones about it. By doing a lot of reading and also attending webinars through U.S. Rowing and Dartmouth. Every person has to recognize and defeat their own implicit bias. We all have them. We have to be self-aware as well as critical to those who are not. So trying to educate myself by reading up on on novels written by really prominent scholars, such as reading the Cheneysville incident, and also focusing on looking at more diversified art um, by black female artists. I've been educating myself about racial injustice, including recently watching the movie 13th about mass incarceration. I'm forcing myself and uh, my friends out of our comfort zones to discuss racial injustice in our society. I've worked to try to combat social injustice by having conversations with teammates, friends, and family members, as well as raising awareness through social media, donations, and fundraising. In my daily life, I like to think about seizing the means of production of racial norms. If I describe someone by the color of their skin, what is it I'm expecting my audience to understand about that person based on my description? We have to create space in our daily conversation and storytelling to allow the transmission of a diverse array of cultural influences. I'm making sure to educate myself on topics that I should have been aware of before and about stories that I should have paid attention to earlier. Um, and I'm really trying to make sure that I understand how the symptoms of systemic racism play out um, in the daily lives of people around me and then also more broadly. I've been reading articles and op-eds from newspapers and magazines and reading interviews with historians and other uh, knowledgeable people like civil rights lawyers to continue improving my education. I've also been trying to keep the conversation open with family and friends and speaking up when something even subtly racist is said. I've been combating racial injustice in the sport of rowing through fundraising and contacting my local club about ways to improve diversity. I've been educating myself on racial injustice by watching films like 13th and reading books like the autobiography of Malcolm X, as well as having uncomfortable conversations with different people. I've been having a lot of conversations with friends and family about what we can do to learn more about racial injustice, uh, as well as listening to some podcasts and reading books on the subject. Uh, right now, I'm reading No Mercy Here by Sarah Haley.